If you are like me and the thought of attacking a full-size tree with some pruning shears is just a little bit too intimidating, why not start out small? And when I say small, I mean dwarf. Welcome back to the cafe, gardening expert Lee Bramar. Lee, who would benefit from dwarf plants? Short people. Tall Don't people. say that! <laughs> You're not allowed to call them dwarf plants because it's politically and horticulturally incorrect. Is it? What do we call them then? Genetic miniatures. Okay, who would benefit from genetic miniatures? People like you who don't want to chop big trees. And, no, I don't. And my partner who is always growling at me for planting things that like, you know, five minutes later they're away up there and nobody can get at them. Exactly. And I guess also if you've got a small inner city garden. If you've got a little courtyard or a little terrace or even just a balcony, you can have little fruit trees, which I think is a great idea. Because, you know, in the summer when everything is eating your fruit off your fruit trees and you need one of those dear helicopter things to drop nets on, <laughs> yes. little trees are the best thing because you can kind of keep them under control you can get all the fruit off really easily you don't need two step ladders and a whole lot of tall wow. friends. Wow so you've got there's a couple on screen now a couple of your little decorative ones there of your genetic miniatures. Yes. So you can actually eat the fruit off these miniatures. They grow exactly the same kind of fruit as big trees same size generally too but the trees stay small. Well, how many do they grow like two no, oranges? No, no no they grow just as many as big trees and they grow them faster they fruit much faster than their big brothers. Then why would anyone have big trees? Ask yourself I don't no. Well, actually, it is because genetic miniatures have not been around for very long and we've only been using them in our domestic gardens for probably 20 or 30 years. Um, but having said that, you can get all kinds. You can get apricots and plums and peaches and just about everything. Figs. Are they easy to care for? Exactly the same as big trees, but shorter. They're not mutated in any way, shape or form? Like they're tree mutants. <laughs> you know, genetic. I'm, th I'm hearing genetic. <laughs> yes, I know genetic. Actually, what you can get, speaking of genetic modifications, you can get, if you've got a really small courtyard, two different kinds of fruit on one rootstock, but that is too weird for words, that isn't it? It's sounding know, just not a little nice. bit strange. So you've, like you've brought a couple in too. What are these ones that you've got here? Believe it or not, this is a cabbage tree. So it's a quarter line, you know, like Those huge proper cabbage tree. Towering cabbage trees. But it will only grow 1.5, so shorter than you and I. That's great. But it will be fatter than you and I, but not much probably. And what's beside it? That's a Mondo grass now. <laughs> I already thought Mondo was really little. I mean, they're tiny little plants. But look at this, it's so small. It's gorgeous. Really good if you're doing one of those sort of like, you know, a bowl garden or a round miniature garden or something with stones in it, and you don't want to have to be cutting back stuff all the time. Perfect. And you can put that between patio stones yeah. as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be excellent for that. Okay, yep. so how do I start my, my genetic miniature garden? <laughs> well, I think you have to I keep wanting to say geriatric miniature, but genetic miniature it garden. It's good for geriatric people as well. <laughs> <laughs> not, not so much pruning. So what do I need to do? Um, well, I'm going to buy five of those mm -hmm. and do a little grove of cabbage, because cabbage trees like to grow in kind of clumps. Okay. So I'm going to do a clump of those with some, you know, rocks and landscapey things. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I think I might use them at, to, to do a circle around the outside of a big pot and then plant other things in the middle. This sounds ridiculously easy. Lee, what thank you is? so much. I'm all about the genetic miniatures from now on, I think. Thank you so much. Fantastic news.